This is Kira. Welcome to my cryptocurrency versus coin mining channel. Um, today I'm going to talk about something that is arguably not versus coin, but it is for me. Um, so I recently got my GTX 1080 Ti. I got this off the NVIDIA website for MSRP. Um, and there's a video about that. I'll put it in the description. Uh, you can watch how I got this card. Um, anyway, so today is the day where I open this, finally. Uh, I've been meaning to make a video about it and talk about how I'm going to use this card to do some experiments. Um, so anyways, uh, before all that, let's open this thing up. Looks like I got a sticker. Yay, sticker. Okay, put that there. Move the scissors very far away from me. Oh, they sent me this nice little thing. Welcome. Very fancy. Look, they even sent me a quick start guide. I'm definitely going to need this. Help! How do I plug in a GPU? I'm lost. Okay, put that over there. Oh, wow, this is quite the card. The last nice card that I bought was a 780. Uh, I think it's a TI. That was ages ago. I paid a lot of money for that card, and it is nothing. It can't do anything. It can't plot hard drives at all. Whoa, this thing's a beast. That's it. Okay. So there's also, huh, how do I open? I don't know how to open. Guys, help, help. Okay, yes, because we use DVI still, oh my gosh. Yes, that's fantastic. That is the most useful thing ever. I mean, I do have a DVI monitor, but yeah. Okay, good to know. I will just uh, put this back away and put this back in a nice little spot. I, I don't even think this case, I, like seriously, does it really deserve that nice molded spot in the foam? I don't even know. Hey, this foam is nice though. It smells good. Okay, well, well that's just um yeah put this put this somewhere okay uh all right let's open this thing up okay first i need to ground myself quick i need a disc array okay i think i'm good Trying to be super careful. This plastic is super punchy. I want to come out. Oh, there's a hole in the plastic. Yeah, boy. Whoa. That's a cool card. Oh my gosh. Okay, so. You guys probably already know what these look like because they're all mining, I don't know, Zcash or whatever. But that's okay. Oh, it's shiny. Whoa, it's so shiny. I'm so happy. I'm, I'm owning like brand new stuff. Kind of. It's gonna go out. Of, it's gonna go out of, out of style here pretty soon with the Volta or the Ampere or whatever. It's gonna come out. But whatever. So. <clears throat> What am I going to do with this card? Well, there's a few things that I want to try to do. Um, the first thing that I want to do is I want to plug it into my rig and I want to see how much it increases the mining speed. Um, this one 
should be able to pull um, 22 mining threads at a time versus the 960, which is eight right now. And the 22 number, I actually haven't confirmed yet. That's my best guess. So uh, as part of the experiment, I'm gonna figure out how many compute cores this thing can do and um, we will find out. My theory is that rather than the bottleneck being on the processing power, which it is right now, J minor is maxed out, I can't process the hard drives fast enough. My theory is that the bottleneck will be moved back on to the uh, USB bandwidth. And if that's the case, that's a really good sign because that means that overall my uh, speed is increasing. Uh, so that's my first experiment. The second thing that I want to try with this card is to use it for plotting my internal disk arrays. Um, there's going to be at least half a terabyte of drives to plot and that's going to take a lot of processing power and so I hope to use this card for um, doing that work. And I don't have swap disks or anything like that ready yet, but my intention is to use Turbo Plotter because I know I've heard uh, some things about bad things about GPU plotting and having the plots corrupted or whatever. So I want to avoid that if possible. Um, so there will be a video about that and I'll let you guys know. Um, I'm always looking for a better way to plot hard drives because it is very, very time consuming. Um, but I also don't want to fuss with um, like swap disks and all of that either. Like I just like just get it done, do as many as you can, uh, average out the terabytes per day plotted. That's my approach um, because the internal hard drive system is going to be so gigantic. I will be looking for optimizations. So the last thing to do with this card is to uh, mine with it and uh, not burst mining. I'm talking GPU mining. Um, and I think it might be a useful avenue for me um, because it will generate a little bit of extra income. I mean, I know the market is down right now, but it will be as a Bitcoin or whatever, and I can hold on to it for a while until the price goes back up. So I think it'd be a good uh, investment um, for as far as the GPU time is concerned. Um, I might consider reselling this in the future, uh, but right now I want to do the most I can with it and do a lot of those experiments that I talked about. And uh, maybe I'll come up with some more. And and actually, maybe, just maybe, uh, being a gamer on hiatus, maybe I will go off hiatus and actually play a game. That would be kind of cool. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. So I'm going to put the plotting video off for another day. But today, um, I want to plug this right in and let's see how this performs uh, relative to the GTX 960. So looking at it, uh, this is the 960. There's 183 terabytes in here. Um, there is 25 drives. Uh, and so the, the 960 can do eight drives at a time. So that means that it's going to do uh, eight, eight, eight and one. Um, that's theoretically anyways, uh, but we can kind of see that where we get this sudden drop off here at the very end. Um, and I know my theory isn't perfect, but this is my best guess. Uh, we can see that uh, we are pulling uh, a lot of megabytes per second here. So this is 1600 megabytes per second. This is kind of the average. It's actually going a little higher. Uh, so it's it's hitting almost uh, about where we want it to be, which is 200 megabytes plus. So that's the time to beat. So let's go ahead and uh, plug the sucker in and see what we can do. Waiting for a driver. Okay, so um, let's see if we can uh, start J minor. Um, Give it a shot here. Probably don't need to. Yep, there it is. Cut to 1080 Ti. So let's see if this thing can pull any additional speed. Uh, I'm not really sure. That's why we're doing an experiment. Um, 
And, you know, either way, I mean, it doesn't matter to me. You know, I just want to learn and see see what this thing can do. Um, so, we did not get a complete block there. So that was 49 seconds. So it actually has 28 computing units. So actually, it should be able to do um, all drives at the same time. So in order to verify that, what I need to do is I need to restart Jminer. And we need to really start seeing the drive info. So we'll go down here. And we're going to put the drive info to true. I really just want to see um, when the drives finish their uh, <coughs> mining. Because you would expect them to finish uh, all at the same time. And why is this, why is this pool throwing me all these errors? Maybe because the block is already done? See, it finished a bunch of drives already. Could it be that it is uh, running out of memory? It got to 89% in 27 seconds. And ah, so 49 seconds. So the other theory that I had was that the PCI Express 16 slot was actually capped at its um, transmit capacity, uh, which would make sense. Um, so if we look, so this is a version 3 slot and this is an X16, so it should be able to um, transmit this much data per second. But this, I don't know, this, I don't think this adds up because this is saying that it can transmit about 16 gigabytes a second. Um, and over here, we can see that we're getting about the same as we had on the 960, which was 1600 megabytes per second. And even if you divided it out and did the math, I don't think we're hitting the cap on that port. I could be wrong though. The data going into the graphics card could be larger than this value. But no, I don't think so because this is the, this is the value being pulled from reading eight hard drives in parallel, uh, as far as I can tell. So <clears throat> I'm not actually sure. So what we might be seeing is we might be hitting some sort of memory cap or something. I'm not sure. Let's see. Let's take a look. So let's see here. So we're not using all of our memory. And if we look at our GPU here, it's not even stressing out the graphics card. So um, it looks like we might be hitting a bandwidth issue, um, which to be honest, the, uh, the speed that we're getting from the card is, is definitely okay. But uh, as always, I'm trying to optimize and uh, improve uh, the capacity. So I'm going to try putting this mysterious reader, reader threads up and I'm just curious what's going to happen. I mean, we don't know what's we're going to happen, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 24 and divide it by three to get eight. And that means we've got three threads per uh, file, right? Or drive. So let's go ahead and save that and let's give this a try. Um, we're just trying to do experiments to understand how the system is working. Yeah, it's definitely running slower. We're already um, 
at 22 seconds and we're not even halfway done so uh yeah that definitely made things slow let's let's roll that back i don't like that one okay so i don't think um there's any other way to improve this speed so let's go ahead and save that and we'll run and get this back to normal here Yeah, see how much faster that goes? So there you have it. Uh, we did some experiments with the 1080 Ti to see uh, exactly where the bottleneck was. And um, I have a feeling that the 1060, this is a deep, I'm sorry, not 1060. I have a feeling that the 960, uh, this is the Strix 960, um, is capable of using all of the bandwidth available on the motherboard for processing the data. Um, so I might, and I was actually able to get speed improvements using this card, which means that this card is capable of maxing the data bandwidth of the motherboard with the way that I've got the drives configured right now. So that actually, um, is very favorable for this card because that means that uh, with this card at its base clock uh, it's going a little slower than it possibly can and, and when it's overclocked it is uh, using all of the available data on the motherboard. So uh, this card is a good card I think. I wasn't expecting this card to be the star but I think this card is the star you can get these cards for a hundred bucks and they can handle all of those hard drives right now there's 25 drives there and there's a few drives that are slowing down the system but if this card can do all of that work this card is seven times cheaper uh, well it's the, the the gtx 1080 ti is seven times the cost of this card so that I'm surprised. <laughs> so uh, maybe this is the way to go. So I guess the next step is to, um, I'll probably put this card back in the computer. And I'm also going to see what I can do about balancing the load between the GPU and the CPU. And maybe it's possible to get additional speed out of the CPU. Um, the other things that I can try are to improve the data bandwidth. Uh, I've got it kind of maxed out right now, but I know there's more tricks. Uh, I'm not using the USB 3.1 header from the motherboard because I suspect it shares a data lane. Um, and then the other thing that I have not tapped into is the M2 uh, data storage uh, plug, which can be converted into a PCI X4. Uh, and I suspect that between those two, I should be able to push this to be able to do 32 drives but looking at how it's operating right now I may not be able to push this system to handle the 256 terabytes as well as the internal disk array so I think uh, running 8 tenths, tenths of a petabyte through uh, a single system might be trouble uh, I would probably need a motherboard that has more PCIe lanes um, but we'll go ahead and give it a shot but that's going to be off in the future in another video Anyways, uh, I hope you guys found this video interesting. Uh, I certainly learned something new and I discovered that my bottleneck was the uh, PCIe lanes on the motherboard uh, because of I just have too many USBs plugged in. So if you like this video, uh, like and subscribe and follow me. Uh, I've got a lot more burst videos to do and I hope you'll join me. See you next time guys.